Hey everyone, in this quick tip, I'm gonna talk about how you can export to a shapefile from Spotfire. Now this is something that's all ranked high in the ideas portal. People are doing all kinds of interesting geoanalytics on Spotfire, generating Voronoi polygons and heat maps and all kinds of geospatial transforms and they want to export that those results into a shapefile to use with QGIS or ArcGIS or other GIS software. So I uh, cooked up a data function for you that you can find on our TIPCO community. You can find it in the data function library page. I'll put a link to this in the video description and you'll find the export to shapefile uh, data function. You download that from the exchange, you get the SFD file and then you can just drag and drop it into Spotfire. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Here in Spotfire, I have a, a geospatial table, a, a, a spatial table where I have a geometry column. And this geometry column can be one of three types. It can be a polygon, it can be a line, or it can be a point. That's it. So it, can, it can't be all three, it can't be two of them, it has to be one of them, and it can only be one of those three. So point, line, or polygon. And the rest of this is attribute data uh, that actually goes to a different file in the shapefile format, um, but you can choose the attribute data you want. Um, and the last thing I have is an export folder path here, um, which I just uh, rigged up for this demo where I can export the shapefile. So what I can do is um, I can go to my export shapefile data function. And here I, can I just need to select my geometry column. It requires a few packages for R, WKB, RGDAL, and SP, so make sure you install those. Um, my columns, I'm gonna go from my USA States table, it's gonna be geometry. And my attributes, I can use from my USA States table, but I can actually select whatever columns I want from the USA States table. I don't have to select all of them, and I should actually exclude the geometry columns. So I can select continent down to, let's say, States, FIPS, Numeric, and I'm gonna add all that in here, and I'm gonna hit OK, and that's gonna have that information in there. So don't include the geometry column in, in, in this attributes part. The export folder, uh, I already have this set as a document property, so I can select property, I have this as a string here. This just needs to be a, a drive that your computer has access to. Um, so this is just on my desktop, and that's the export path. And then I need to specify the geometry type. So the geometry in this case is a polygon. So I'm just going to type in polygon. Um, and next I'm going to hit OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to, it's really quick. You saw that kind of uh, progress bar move really quick. It exported the shape file. Now when I go back out to my desktop, I can see that there is the shape file folder. This was just exported. And you can see that I have um, the Spotfire output and you have the projection file, the shape file, the DBF file. So when I actually drag this into QGIS, you can see for the projection that I have in QGIS, that shape file of the individual um, Spotfire uh, geometries are all shown here. And I can open up the attribute table and I can see all the attributes I exported state FIPS, uh, state, country, subregion, region, things like that. So it's that simple, really easy to export shape files now. Hope this helps you with your geo analytics and uh, make sure you continue joining our Dr. Spotfire Quick Tips. We really love having you. Uh, we're gonna be continuing to put more quick tips out each week and uh, you can subscribe to get alerts whenever they are released. So thanks for joining us and we will catch you next time. Bye.